Well, here's the ball launcher. Finally finished. It's not working too bad. This is what holds the ball. This is the ball dropper and fetcher. So, there we go. Ball goes in. Figures a switch, pulls it back, releases the ball. Off it goes. Doggy gets the ball. Come on, Sophie. Come, come, right here. Drop it. Drop it right there. Oh, you were close. She's still figuring out how to do it. How to do it. Here, drop it right there. Right there. Right there. Right here. Drop it in. Come on. Come on, Sophie. Drop it. Drop it in. Put it in. Put it in. Drop it. Good girl. Good girl. Now get out of the way. <laughs> It's nice to stand and look right down the barrel of it. Get it, Sophie. Get it. Get it. Uh-oh. Must have landed on some dog poop. <laughs> Sophie. Good girl. The hole. Here you go. Catch him. Here. In the hole. Come on. Come on, Sophie. The fetch bot. How does it work? Let me show you. You put it in the chute. The ball drops in. Triggers the switch. Triggers the motor to pull it back. Motor pulls it back. Carriage bolt bumps into a little release mechanism and shoots the ball. Little doggy comes and brings it back. Put it right there, Sophie. Put it right there, Sophie. 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 Right there. Okay, so Sophie's a bit of a glitch in the system, but we're working on it. So, a little more detail is in order. Here's the little catch mechanism that grabs and hangs onto the sled, the sling. <clears throat> Put the ball in again. You can watch what happens. This is going to bump into the carriage bolt, lets it go. And then the uh, ball switch goes back to neutral and the thing comes back up and goes clickety-click and engages. So this switch stops it when it parks in this position that way. This switch stops it when it comes that way. And the whole thing is driven by a Gilmer belt running to a little gear reduction box plus another gear reduction box out of a toy. And then this and all this is all out of a scanner. This used to be an AGFA scanner and it was the mechanism that pulled the scan head back and forth. There's a couple of relays in here that act like a H bridge. If you've messed with motors forwards, backwards, you know what that is. It allows you to just have like one switch that'll uh, flip the polarity back and forth. So you can drive a motor forwards and backwards really easy. Six components in the whole thing, six functions for the whole process. And that's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Sophie loves it. She's got to learn where to drop the ball and we'll be all set. Right, Sophie?